Hey Libra, happy Wednesday. This read is for you guys. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what the universe has in store for you guys today. So universe, what messages do you have for Libra? What affirmations, what guidance? <laughs> okay, let's see what she's got. We have the light card. Heartache and loss, transformation, the crown chakra, which um, tends to speak to spirituality, and the heart chakra, uh, which can speak to relationships and healing. So I'm feeling like this is going to speak to healing after a loss. I'm going to keep pulling cards because I want to keep building on this read here. Um, I have disruption, spiritual strength, truth, discontent and boredom, and power. So the word, the word that comes to my mind with a couple of these cards uh, is depression. I feel like this loss um, definitely puts you in a dark place. That you had a hard time coming out of. And that's what I get from this. I feel depression. I'm not sure if this is um, a romantic relationship that ended or a different kind of loss altogether. I'm going to have to keep pulling cards to see see if the universe will clarify that for me I believe that the truth card is uh, I believe that the truth card is relating to um, why the loss happened and I'm feeling like the transformation card and the power card are also related to each other in finding your way out of the depression that this loss put you in. So universe, if you can give me some clarification on this situation. So I have the Four of Cups here, and the Four of Cups, I'll show you. So it speaks of sort of an indifference to me in this, it also ties in with that, that depression and that feeling numb. I have the hermit, which speaks of, of an introspection. I feel like it speaks of, to this, I feel like he ties in with the crown chakra and the spiritual strength. I feel like he ties into to the deep self work that it took to be able to find your way out of this hole that this loss put you in. I have the fool card here and the fool card in this read to me he says um, he speaks of looking at things in a new way in a more positive light because I think this you were in a pretty dark place after this is what I'm getting from the read and that it took a complete shift of mindset to be able to get out of it. I do have the world card here, which to me relates to the light card, and it speaks of your positive future and the positive things that are going to be coming your way out of all of this. Okay, I think we are dealing with a romantic relationship here. And probably a breakup because I got the lover's card here. I got the lover's card along with the five of wands and the devil card. So the five of wands, you can see um, everybody's arguing and fighting. There's a lot of upheaval, a lot of drama. The devil card tends to represent a person um, who's very manipulative and destructive.
And I think that speaks of who this person was and this relationship. And that it went on for a long time and you felt really beaten down. I have the, the Empress card here. I'm getting a very nurturing vibe off of her. Um, almost like motherly nurturing, uh, loving, unconditional. And I think she's, I think she speaks of your healing and loving yourself. I have the Queen of Cups as well. I got her on top of the Empress card and still getting that motherly vibe here. You know what? I'm starting to feel like when you were going through all of this, I'm starting to feel like your mother ties in as a support. Maybe, maybe you moved home. I feel like she helped you heal in all of this. She played a very huge role in supporting you and getting away from this person and healing from, from all this negativity. Um, I have the Two of Cups, which it tends to represent a relationship, and I got it next to the King of Swords. And so for me, I'm feeling like... feel a dishonest vibe coming off of him. I feel like he ties into this person that you are in a relationship with. I have the Eight of Wands as well, and the Eight of Wands to me in this read speaks of, of communication. Think of... Think of taking your power back. I think I'm not just communicating with, with this person when, when you decided enough was enough or when it ended. But I think it also ties in um, with the Empress, the Queen of Cups. And being able to open up about your emotions to someone. And I got the Nine of Pentacles in between. And you can see the abundance and the happiness surrounding her there. And I think that speaks of you opening up to your mother and being able to heal emotionally and feel okay again yeah I got the five of swords here which speaks of selfish short one victories and I feel like that also ties into who this person was I think they were very manipulative and very dishonest with you And I think you really had to dig deep to find the truth. Um, I also have the magician here and he speaks of having all the tools you need um, to be successful in life. To me in this, to me in this read, I feel like you're learning th those tools. Everything that you've gone through is teaching you something. I have the Hierophant next to the magician as well. Um, and I'm, I'm getting the vibe off of him of a higher learning, of a self-learning. I feel like all this entire journey that you've been on, this nastiness, this hurt, this depression, um, the toxic relationship, and then the healing, um, the healing as well. I feel like it's taught you a lot about yourself and it's giving you a lot of tools that you need to be successful in life. Learning life lessons, preventing these things from happening again in the future. I have the Justice card. And sometimes she speaks of balance. But to me in this, she just speaks of she speaks of justice and fairness. And what was done to you was unfair. And you're taking your power back. And in doing so, you're, you're balancing those scales. You're evening things out. 
and that you will be rewarded for that. Um, and I believe you'll be rewarded for it with, with an inner strength and an inner confidence, um, an inner peace and a lot more happiness in your life. I have the High Priestess and, and she represents things that are hidden that are still to be revealed. And I think those are positive things. I think those are rewards that the universe has in store for you. And then I also have the Death card which speaks of a transition um, and leaving the past behind. And I think that's that's this relationship and severing severing ties with this person and leaving it in the past and moving forward. So I pulled triumphant success, awareness, temptation, and emotional withdrawal. So I feel like some of these are warnings. I feel like the awareness card speaks of, it speaks of an inner awareness of your temptation to fall back into bad habits, um, dealing with Dealing with hurt, dealing with negative feelings by emotionally withdrawing. I feel like that's what that speaks to. And being able to stop yourself from doing that. And and opening up to the people in your life who love you and will support you. And I feel like if you can do that, you will have success. You will be a heck of a lot happier in life. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed the read and take care.